Yes, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's well and thank you all once again for tuning in. We were a little bit zoomed in there. Two things, make sure you go down, smash a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. Um, Gift or ban, gift or ban. We have been speaking about this striker for weeks now. And he looks the real, real deal. Don't get me wrong. He looks very, very, very good. But according to reports coming out there, that we are reluctant to pay for Gift Orban, which is around £25.9 million. And we prefer a move for Brennan Johnson for around £40 million. Now, there is positives to getting Brennan Johnson because they are looking for, according to reports, there, there could be a player plus cash deal for Brennan Johnson, which means we could obviously sell him and get rid of a player of ours. Well, obviously buy him, sorry, and get rid of a player of ours, which could either be Eric Dyer, Damson Sanchez, some of these absolute scrubs. But where is the logic in paying £40 million for Brennan Johnson and not go and get the absolute baller in Belgium in Gift Orban? His goal record is absolutely insane. It makes perfect sense to go and get Gift Orban. I don't know what we're doing. To give you some sort of context, right, of how big clubs operate compared to the way Tottenham operate. You ready? Fabrizio Romano, the number one transfer journalist in the world, reported out only seven hours ago or six hours ago, Man City are interested in Matthias Nunes from Wolves. He's put out only an hour ago that an initial bid has been submitted for the Wolves midfielder for around 50 million euros. And he's already agreed personal terms. How do Man City go and do this? And we've been sitting talking about a 21-year-old who plays for Ghent. Why don't we just pull our finger out and actually act like a proper football club? It took us six weeks, seven weeks to go and get the likes of Mickey van der Ven over the line. If we don't, like, honestly, he plays for Ghent. For Ghent. There is so little risk in getting this player. Look, he's got all the attributes. He's fast. His goal scoring record in front of goal. The guy is a machine. Let me read you out one more time for anyone at the back that isn't listening to me. And while you are about to listen to this, drop a like on the video. Gift or ban. Are you ready? Listen to these numbers. And before anyone says, oh, but it's only in the Belgium League, it doesn't matter. You're still putting goals in in your respective league. He's played three games this season. In the Champions League qualifiers and scored four goals. He plays again tonight or tomorrow night, whenever it is. It might be tonight, right? 28 games played for Ghent in the league. 26 goals, two assists. So 28 goal contributions in 28 games. 24 games played for Stacked Beck Football. 24 games played, 19 goals and seven assists. And more goal contributions than games. 45 goals in 52 games with nine Assists. Five goals in six games in the Conference League qualifiers. Four goals in three games in the in the Europa League qualifiers. What seriously? What are we doing? He's 21 years of age. Again, are looking for a fee of 25. Point nine million pounds or 25 million pounds or 26 million pounds. Whatever the fee is, it's peanuts in today's market. If we go and sign Brennan Johnson, who I like, for 40 million pounds and we don't put a, sell a player the other way, seriously, we are absolutely clapped, tapped. By, it's mind-blowing. 25 million pounds, right? Genu honestly, genuinely, the risk side of it is, is, it makes perfect logical sense. He's 21 years of age. He's still, you know, nowhere near fully developed with the right manager who puts their arm around him and gets the best out of him, like which I think Postacoglu can do. And not only that, otherwise we're going to have Richarlison up front for the rest of the year. And this geezer couldn't score in a brothel. He needs eight or nine chances to score one goal. And every time he does score a goal, it's offside. What honestly just acts like a proper 
football club. We're not talking about getting a player from Real Madrid or Barcelona or Bayern Munich or Juventus, AC Milan, Inter, Arsenal, Chelsea, City United. We're talking about a guy from Ghent. From Ghent. Why do we always, always, always operate like this? I'd love us to act like a proper football club and just go and get it done. Man, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't see any downside to signing him. I really don't. And I'm not saying that just because I'm a fan of the player. I don't see any downside. Genuinely, I don't. Genuinely. He, he makes perfect sense. He fits the system. He's quick. He's goal-scoring ability. He can take a player on. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get what we're doing here. You know, just to read out the report that was earlier around Brennan Johnson to kind of give some context to this. Um, Tom Rohde has put, and I quote, Tottenham will try to secure Brennan Johnson as a signing of Nottingham Forest, Brennan Johnson with a cash plus player deal. However, Tottenham are also willing to do a cash only deal. Forest are looking for a fee of around 40 million for the Wales forward, who is also wanted by West Ham and Chelsea. Chelsea had considered making the move for the 22-year-old this summer, but have withdrawn their interest after the players on a super preferred location is Tottenham. That's fine, but 40 million for Brennan Johnson or 25 million for Gift Orban, and then put 15 million back in the pot and put it towards the centre back that we desperately need. I don't see logically how this doesn't make any sense. Like, honestly, I don't. Genuinely, it is mind blowing. It's absolutely mind blowing. Really, it is. £40 million on a straight deal for Brennan Johnson for me. That would mean we've spent £100 million on Brennan Johnson and Richarlison. You know, it's, it's... Some of our recruitment at times is, 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 the, is generally some of the worst I've seen in the Premier League. But Gift Orban makes sense for the money. He's cheaper and probably is a better player. Well, he is a better player than Brennan Johnson. Mm-hmm. Like British tax, once again, the Welsh forward, 22 years of age. If he if was that good of a player, Chelsea would have already had it wrapped up because at the moment, in this window, they are acting, acting like a serious powerhouse. Genuinely, 25 million quid. I don't see the downside. I really, honestly, really don't. Let me know what you guys think. Would you rather Brandon Johnson for 40 million or would you rather gift Orban for 25 million? Not point nine or twenty four point nine, whatever it is, twenty five million quid, which is around thirty million euros. Genuinely, I don't see the downside. I really don't. It, 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 he's he's young. He's hungry. It would be a massive step up from Ghent. Don't get me wrong, but there's no way in a million years he's going to reject us, right? But Brennan Johnson is not the guy. Forty million pounds. In my opinion, he's a better striker than Richarlison, but Richarlison isn't the guy either. Like We need to act like a pro football club and go and identify and get our, our top targets. Like we did with Van der Ven. Admittedly, it took us, I don't know, seven weeks or whatever it was. But what are we doing here? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand why we just can't go and act like a football club and get it done. Let me know your thoughts down below. Brennan Johnson at £40 million or... Gift Orban at £25.9 million. Um, we need to get it done soon. We've got winnable games coming up. I think we should be winning our next four. Um, Veliz, he doesn't look like he's going to be in the manager's plans for a little while. Um, I'm not going to lie. 19 years of age. Great in the air. Fantastic in the air. With Perisic whipping in crosses, he would be a joy in the air. But he doesn't look like he's in the manager's plans. It wouldn't surprise me if he got a loan out next summer or this summer. Um, but... At the moment, you know, we need to go and we need to get reinforcements. We still are crying out for a centre-back. One injury to Van der Ven or Romero and either Dyer, Davis or Sanchez is going to be starting week in, week out for us. So that is extremely worrying. I don't understand why we don't just go and get um, Tosin under a Bayou done from Fulham. He'd be a good centre-back. Competition, him, Van der Ven and Romero, a bit of constant rotation. Uh, obviously identifying your best 11 but you get my point it's a good backup to have and it would definitely be worth worth the money let me know your thoughts if you haven't already on 
Brennan Johnson and Gift Orban. We are going to wrap up. Make sure you go down below, smash a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. We're less than 500 subs of 16K. See you all soon. We are out.